Time on the water is sacred. It's why you're here, to gain confidence in your abilities and unlock the world of water for yourself, your family, and your friends. Hi, I'm Adrian. And I'm Carrie. Together, we're going to walk you through the basics of boating so you can experience the joy and freedom of being out on the water and go boldly into each adventure that comes your way. Situations requiring first aid are not fun to consider or prepare for, but doing so is absolutely necessary. Plan for the best and prepare for the worst. Your first aid kit will spend a lot of time on the boat, so a reliable waterproof case is a must. Everything you put into it should be waterproof as well. Waterproof sealable bag? Definitely. Double bag it? Why not? Redundancy is a key ingredient in proper safety. When your boat is not in use, store your first aid kit indoors and open the kit to allow any built up moisture to escape. Avoiding regular temperature fluctuations and moisture will help ensure its contents don't expire prematurely. Just be sure to keep it somewhere that encourages you to remember it, possibly in the same location you store your title, registrations, and licenses. As you prepare, there are some basic items to include in your first aid kit, which should cover you and your passengers for most minor injuries. Some of the items are more obvious, such as bandages, antiseptic spray, and basic pain meds. Beyond these, how prepared you want to be is really up to you. What if someone has an allergic reaction? Put an antihistamine on the list. Not only will it relieve allergic reactions and swelling, many can also treat nausea and motion sickness. You've got to appreciate a good two for one. And for seasickness specifically, throw in an over-the-counter motion sickness medication. You should think of everything you'd like to be prepared for. This might be an obvious one, but what if a more serious injury occurs resulting in a wound? You'll want to have some disposable gloves on hand to protect yourself from blood while administering first aid and to protect a wound from whatever you may have on your hands. Following that thread, have gauze as well as a variety of sterile absorbent pads. In the event of a more serious injury, you don't want to be reaching for dirty towels. You may not initially think of including a foil blanket in a basic first aid kit, but if someone falls into cold water, goes unconscious, or otherwise into shock, situations that are by no means unheard of, regulating their body temperature will be crucial. While our list is fairly thorough and will cover you for many scenarios, feel free to add anything else that could be useful in your main kit. Go through your entire first aid kit a few times a year. Make sure everything has stayed watertight and replace anything expired or about to expire. Anytime you use something, remember to replace and restock what was used when you get back to shore. Part of your preparedness comes down to what you bring on the boat. The other part is who you bring on the boat. For peace of mind, consider taking courses on CPR and general first aid. While you may not be a licensed captain, you are the captain of your vessel and responsible for your passenger safety. With your passengers in mind, plan ahead and make sure your companions bring any medication specific to their needs, including medication for children if kids come along. With that, we'll leave you with the list of more specialty items to consider, including in your kit. Items that aren't traditionally found in basic first aid kits. While it may be overthinking, we don't believe there is a such thing as over-preparing. Take satisfaction that you're now prepared to handle most anything thrown your way. Enjoy the peace of mind this provides. With an extensive first aid kit on board, you can move on to thinking about more exciting things, like where you're going next, what to pack in your cooler, and what gear to bring along for water sports. Thanks for watching this episode of Freshwater Boating Basics, presented by Mercury Marine.